Welcome to the eternal city of Rome, where power, wealth, and scandal collide. Get ready for a journey back in time as we introduce you to the real housewives of Palatine Hill. Meet the elite women who rule over Palatine Hill, the heart of Roman aristocracy, where privilege and prestige reign supreme. Prepare to step into a world of power struggles, fierce rivalries, and scandalous affairs. First, we have the formidable Aurelia, a cunning senator's wife known for her political prowess and impeccable style. It may look like I have it all, but I want more. Then there's Livia, the glamorous socialite with a taste for luxury, whose parties are the talk of the town. If you're going to talk about me behind my back, at least check out my great buttocus. Next, we have Octavia, the young and ambitious beauty, navigating the treacherous waters of Roman high society. They say all roads lead to Rome, but honey, I paved those roads with my charm. And let's not forget Claudia, the fiery entrepreneur with a knack for business and a passion for stirring up trouble. Life in Rome is a game, and I make the rules. These women may have it all, but beneath the surface lies a world of secrets, scandals, and alliances that could crumble with a single misstep. Welcome to the Real Housewives of Palatine Hill, where loyalty is rare and betrayal is always on the horizon. Tonight, we delve deeper into the lives of Livia, Octavia, Claudia, and Aurelia as they navigate the treacherous waters of ancient Rome's high society. Funny enough, the drama all started with a cat. With her latest acquisition, Livia aims to charm Rome's most influential men. But will this feline companion truly elevate her status or lead to her downfall? Ladies, I have invited you here today for an important announcement. What could possibly be so important, Livia? Yes, spill the wine, darling. Oops, I meant spill the beans. Well, let's just say I've acquired something that will elevate our status in Palatine Hill. You always know how to keep us on our toes, Livia. All right, I'm all ears. What is it? Presenting the latest addition to Livia's household. Behold, ladies, this is Cleopatra, the rarest and most exotic cat in all of Rome. It's truly magnificent, Livia. But I can't help but wonder, is this really the big announcement? Oh, my dear Octavia, Cleopatra here is just the beginning. With her, we'll gain the attention of the most influential men in Rome. Men and their obsession with cats. It never ceases to amaze me. Octavia, the glamorous and ambitious socialite, throws extravagant parties to maintain her place at the top. However, her rivalries with Livia and Claudia continue to escalate. Will her charm and connections be enough to secure her reign on Palatine Hill? Octavia, you think you can outshine me with your extravagant parties? Well, think again. Oh, please. Your parties are nothing but a facade, Livia. Everyone knows you're just trying to mask your insecurities. Ladies, let's not forget who's the real queen here. I've got connections that can make or break you. As tensions rise and wine is thrown in our explosive dinner scene, it's clear that these women are willing to go to extreme lengths to protect their ambitions. But will they realize that their true strength lies in unity, or will their rivalries tear them apart? Please, can't we all just get along? This is getting out of hand. How dare you? This gown cost me a fortune. As tensions reached their boiling point in the dining room, the ladies found themselves drenched in wine and immersed in a sea of animosity. However, in a surprising turn of events, they gather in the garden to mend the fractures in their relationships. Well, ladies, I must say, that was quite an exhilarating experience. You may have ruined my dress, Livia, but I won't let you win this battle. 
Let's remember that we're all strong women with our own ambitions. We don't need to tear each other down. She's right. We should focus on supporting one another instead of tearing each other apart. And that concludes another intense episode of The Real Housewives of Palatine Hill. We've seen the women of ancient Rome's high society engage in fierce power struggles, alliances forming and crumbling, and secrets being exposed. The question on everyone's minds now is, how long will this newfound peace last? Can these women truly put aside their differences and work together towards a common goal? Or will their rivalries and thirst for power resurface, plunging them back into a never-ending cycle of conflict? Only time will reveal the answer. The journey of the Real Housewives of Palatine Hill continues, and with each passing episode, we witness the delicate dance between friendship and rivalry, loyalty, and betrayal. Step into a world where Kale reigns supreme and the spirit of revolution is alive and well. Introducing Let Them Eat Kale, the ultimate vegetable that satisfies your hunger for revolution. Bonjour, mes amis. It is I, Marie Antoinette, your favorite hipster influencer, and I have a revolutionary secret to share with you. It's time to embrace the kale revolution. Imagine a world where flavor and nutrition collide, where every bite fuels your body with nutrient-packed goodness. Let Them Eat Kale is the new elixir of life, turning your taste buds green. Why settle for ordinary cake when you can have extraordinary? Let Them Eat Kale is an all-new kale-based product, a delicious revolution for your taste buds and the secret ingredient to fueling your fitness goals. Join me on this fitness journey where we trade baguettes for kale chips and croissants for avocado toast. Together, we'll redefine healthy living and create a revolution that nourishes both body and soul. Witness the citizens of France embracing the kale revolution with gusto wielding their plastic forks as pitchforks to savor every nutritious bite. They have discovered the joy of kale, and their bodies are thanking them. Let Them Eat Kale will have you working harder than the executioner. You'll be chopping heads of kale faster than the guillotine can fall. This is your moment to shine. Call this number today and order your Let Them Eat Kale product pack for only $19.99. Get ready to join the kale revolution and unlock a healthier, tastier you. Let them eat kale. Viewer discretion is advised. What would that boy put chunk on that? What chunk on that when the factories come for you? What would that boy put chunk on that? What chunk on that when they're chasing up for you? And if I told me, I was keeping the peace. Don't mess with us, we got all from my police. We got cop calls, I was blowing so low. We got the bad guys, we come home. Right on the end on patrol, keeping the streets safe and so. Never packing down, but the best around, best around. We bring your vibes and back doors, we bring justice to town. Praetorians is filmed on location. All suspects are guilty until proven innocent or executed. All right, Praetorians, today we have a unique challenge. Our task is to protect General Julius Caesar. There has been word of a treacherous plot against the Republic from Brutus and other conspirators. Brutus's men are known to be agile and quick, so we'll need to be at our best. Remember, the safety of the Republic rests on our shoulders. There he is. Get him.
General, we must leave immediately. One of Brutus's thugs are on their way to assassinate you. Tiger, stay focused, Praetorians. We got him! I may have been a bit reckless today, but thanks to your exceptional skills, I'm unharmed. Your loyalty and bravery never cease to amaze me. The Republic owes you a debt of gratitude. Well done, everyone. Today was quite the adventure. We managed to apprehend the suspect and keep Caesar safe despite the chaos. That tiger came out of nowhere. I've never seen a chase like that before. And let's not forget the general's drunken escapade. He certainly knows how to keep us on our toes, indeed. But remember, our work is not done. There are still those who seek to harm the Republic. We must remain vigilant. so hungry can't decide what you want well now you don't have to you can have it all here at mctanda hut express come try our wet wet pizza dripping with ice cream and topped with chicken teriyaki or our tortilla infused slushy mm. now that's chunky mom can we can mctanda hut express for dinner way ahead of you sweetie when the family's hungry and you're feeling stressed it's time to visit mctanda hut express of intense battles and strategic maneuvering, we have reached the final episode of Survivor Civil War. Only two men remain, and today, they face their ultimate test on the volcanic peak of the island. It all comes down to this moment, the last duel. I've fought hard to get here, and I won't let anything stand in my way of claiming the title of sole survivor. This is the moment I've been waiting for. My skills as an orator have brought me this far. And now it's time to use them to convince the legions that Caesar is a tyrant. I must be persuasive and assert my dominance. Gentlemen, you have reached the final challenge. This volcano symbolizes the fiery journey you've undertaken throughout this competition. Today, 
you will duel on the volcanic summit using your skills and wits to outmaneuver each other one last time. I'm ready. So am I. Remember, the winner of this duel will be crowned the sole survivor and receive the grand prize of one million denarius and the keys to an emerging empire. Are you both prepared? Yes. Yes. Then let the final duel begin. Here we are, gentlemen, the pinnacle of your journey. This is where you will face off in a battle of words, a test of persuasion. You will each have a chance to address the legions below, persuading them to stand with you. The legions will then cast their votes, determining the winner of Survivor Civil War. Caesar, you may begin. Legions, I stand before you as a leader who has fought for your freedom, your prosperity, and the greatness of our republic. I have proven my strength, my loyalty, and my unwavering dedication to our cause. I urge you to remember the victories we achieved together, and the future we can forge if you choose me as your survivor. Together, we can build an empire that will stand the test of time. Legions, my comrades, I stand before you not as a conqueror, but as a voice of reason. Caesar has shown his true colors, his thirst for power. He has disregarded the principles that make our republic strong. Choose me, and we can restore the balance, uphold the virtues that our forefathers fought for. Let us not succumb to the tyranny that Caesar represents. Together, we can create a future where justice and freedom reign. Well done, Cicero. The legions have heard both sides. Now it's time for them to make their choice. The votes have been cast, and the decision has been made. The winner of Survivor, Civil War, and the sole survivor is... Cicero! Congratulations, Cicero. You have outmaneuvered and outlasted all the other contestants to become the sole survivor of Survivor Civil War. You have won the grand prize of one million denarius and keys to an emerging empire. Thank you. Thank you all. This journey has been an incredible test of strength, both physical and mental. I couldn't have done it without the support of the legions, my triumvirate alliance, and my fellow contestants, all of whom have perished dramatically. Together we have shown the power of unity and the importance of standing up for what we believe in. No, this can't be. Caesar, the legions have spoken. Your journey ends here. So be it. But know this, Cicero. Your victory will be short-lived. The Republic will crumble under your weak rule. Caesar, as per the rules of Survivor Civil War, the loser of the final duel is to be sentenced to execution. Ladies and gentlemen, today we bear witness to the consequences of this game. Caesar, the once mighty warrior, now faces the ultimate price for his defeat. Caesar, your time has come. Throw him in the crater. From the classically liberal minds who brought you The Invisible Hand Touched Me and I Liked It comes the greatest musical ever. My father is bigger than yours. Triple down, triple down, triple down, let's triple Fuckers, take my patent away. Those fuckers, dear God, I only ask one thing of you. Don't let those fuckers take my patent away.
Welcome to Gladiator Idol, where the Empire and the Senate search for the next big thing in gladiatorial combat. From humble beginnings to the grand stage of the Colosseum, these warriors will battle for fame, glory, and their very lives. First, hundreds of contestants are interviewed. Will they make the cut or be thrown to the lions? Then, the power lies in the hands of the people. The Roman public will vote to decide each finalist. The Emperor and the Senate will have their say, selecting their eight favorites to compete for the ultimate prize. But in the end, only one will be crowned the Gladiator Idol. The Chosen Eight will face off in the ultimate showdown, fighting to the death in the legendary Colosseum. Each clash, each victory, and each defeat will bring them closer to glory or oblivion. From auditions to the Colosseum, who will be crowned Gladiator Idol and win their freedom. Prepare for the deadliest talent competition in history. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the epic finale of Gladiator Idol. Through blood, sweat, and tears, our gladiators have fought valiantly for a chance at glory. Today, we will crown the ultimate champion of Rome. But before we begin, let us take a moment to honor those who have fallen. Their courage and dedication remind us of the true spirit of Gladiator Idol. May their legacy inspire the warriors who stand before us today. Indeed, today's battle will determine not only the champion, but the future of gladiatorial combat. These gladiators have shown us their strength, their skill, and their undying determination. We are privileged to witness their final clash. These courageous warriors have left an indelible mark on this competition and will forever be remembered. Our finalists, Titus and Maximo, have proven themselves worthy of this moment. Today, they will face each other in a battle that will etch their names in history. Without further delay, let the final battle commence. Titus, you have fought with honor and valor. Your legacy will forever be remembered. You are a true warrior, Maximo. May you continue to inspire greatness in generations to come. Maximo has disarmed Titus. It's nearly over. Shall Titus live or die? Die, die? die! 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 Thus shall it be. Are you not entertained? And now, let us hear from our champion, Maximo. I stand before you today not only as Maximo, a gladiator, but as a man who has risen from the depths of despair. I was once a slave, stripped of my identity and forced to fight for the entertainment of others. But Gladiator Idol gave me an opportunity, a chance to reclaim my humanity and rewrite my story. Each battle, each victory, has been a step towards freedom not just for me, but for all who share my struggle. To my fellow gladiators, you have been my brothers, my comrades, in this extraordinary journey. We have fought together, bled together, and through it all we have found strength in unity. And to the audience, you have witnessed our battles, shared in our triumphs and defeats. Your support has been the driving force behind our will to persevere. We are not just gladiators, we are the embodiment of hope and resilience. Let our stories inspire you to fight for your own dreams, to never give up in the face of adversity. Maximo, your voice has echoed through the amphitheater, leaving an indelible mark on this competition. Your journey has been one of transformation and inspiration. We salute your courage and celebrate your triumph. 
All hail our gladiator idol. Once upon a time in a land far away, a deal was made that could not be undone. Or could it? Well, how can I fix this? This February, join Princess Moxie Dawn as she seeks out the evil Moon Witch Loon for answers. Only you can brave three tasks. In this epic once-in-a-lifetime adventure, will Moxie be able to illuminate her kingdom and the truth? I know what I have to do. Now playing on Flamingo Television. From the creators of the normal misadventure of Daisy May, Midnight Odyssey. Get ready for a makeover of epic proportions. Welcome to Extreme Villa Makeover, where one family's dreams are about to come true. Meet this humble plebeian family Life hasn't always been kind to them, but today, everything changes. Our team of expert architects, builders, and designers are here to transform their rundown insula into a magnificent masterpiece fit for the gods. From crumbling walls to leaky roofs, nothing can stand in the way of our team's passion for perfection. They'll work day and night to create a villa that not only meets the family's needs, but surpasses their wildest expectations. We're turning this humble dwelling into a palace fit for emperors. Prepare to be amazed. With intricate mosaics, breathtaking frescoes, and luxurious Roman baths, the results are simply jaw-dropping. But hold on, there's a twist in this tale. While their new home is undeniably stunning, the plebeian family finds themselves facing unexpected financial challenges. The increase in mortgage payments and property taxes leaves them in a predicament they never anticipated. Extreme Villa Makeover, where dreams are built, lessons are learned, and families find Herculanean strength in the face of unforeseen challenges. I hope you're all enjoying your new home. It truly reflects the splendor and magnificence befitting emperors. We can't express our gratitude enough, Quintus. This is beyond anything we could have ever imagined. Our lives have been forever changed. Indeed, Quintus. We are eternally grateful for your team's incredible work and the generosity bestowed upon us. This villa is a testament to your vision and dedication. Thank you, my friends. But as we embark on this final episode, I want to remind you all of an important lesson. Life is unpredictable, and challenges may arise even in the face of newfound opulence. The plebeian family soon found themselves confronted with unexpected financial burdens. Property taxes and mortgage payments began to accumulate, placing a heavy strain on their financial situation. We won't let this defeat us. We've learned so much throughout this journey, and we'll face these challenges head on. You're right. We may have been given a taste of luxury, but true happiness lies beyond material possessions. Our strength lies in our resilience and the love we share as a family. Unfortunately, our family hasn't had a happy ending. We've witnessed the plebeian family's journey, from the grandeur of their villa to the harsh realities they face today. The father has been forced to sell all of their possessions. He enlisted in the army, taking up the role of a legionnaire just to make ends meet. Sadly, after Caesar crossed the Rubicon, he was killed in battle. May his soul forever rest in peace. I wish Extreme Villa Makeover never found us. This has been the worst experience of my life. I'm so sorry for the challenges you've faced. Life can be unforgiving, and it pains me to see your struggles. 
We've given everything we had to keep this place, but it's not enough. We can't sustain it any longer. Our dreams have shattered, and we are left with nothing but debts and regret. I wanted a better life for us. I thought the makeover would bring us happiness, security. But instead, it has taken away the one thing that truly mattered. Our family's happiness. We can't change what has happened, Mother. But we can find strength in each other. We've always been a resilient family, and we will get through this together, just like we have in the past. You're right. Our love for each other is what truly matters. The villa may be a painful reminder, but it doesn't define us. We'll find a way to move forward, to honor your father's memory and create a new beginning for ourselves. Remember, my friends, that true happiness lies not in material possessions, but in the love and resilience you share as a family. The villa was a symbol of grandeur, but it doesn't define you. Life is full of unexpected twists and turns, and it's in these moments that we must find our strength. I hope you can find solace in each other as you navigate this difficult path. Join us next time for another exciting episode of Extreme Villa Makeover, where we will take another plebeian family and turn their lives upside down. Flamingo TV Flamingo TV Flamingo Flamingo Greetings cool cats and kittens Feeling bogged down by the analog world? Ready to leap into the techno wonderland with the internet? Well, fasten your seatbelts because we're about to rocket you into a realm of digital marvels Radical! I'm catching the digital wave! With the internet, you can zap electronic mail across the globe faster than you can say fax machine. And yes, watch videos. Well, eventually, once they buffer. Check it out. With the internet, you can own JPEGs that are one of a kind and collect them all. And we pay with what, internet money? <laughs> the internet. Not just a fad, but a whole new frontier of cool. I will end you fight, babe. Let's freaking ride. No problemo. All you need are three 9-volt batteries. No problemo. It's not just for kids. It's a collectible figure for adult men, too. <laughs> right, guys? Wow, and for as little as three small payments of $19.99, what a steal! Scooters sold separately. Are you ready to enter the fiery depths of culinary competition? Brace yourself for the most sizzling reality TV show of all time. Welcome to Hades Kitchen, where the flames of ambition meet the wrath of celebrity chef Gordonius Ramsonius. For what we are about to eat, may Jupiter make us truly not vomit. Two teams of aspiring chefs battling it out to secure the coveted position of head chef at Gordonius's world-renowned restaurant, the Ides of March. But beware, contestants. This kitchen is not for the faint of heart. Even Prometheus wouldn't eat this garbage. Our contestants will have to summon their skills, creativity, and courage to conquer the infernal trials awaiting them. But remember, only the strongest will survive the heat of Hades' kitchen. Hannibal Barker could make a better peacock, and he's been dead over a hundred years. Each week, our teams will be pushed to their limits, battling against time, each other, and the wrathful gaze of Gordonius himself, He's not afraid to unleash his fury upon those who fall short. This dish could make even Cerberus sick. I'd rather eat dog shit. Get ready for a thrilling culinary battle where passion meets punishment, creativity meets chaos, and only the strongest will rise from the ashes. Why did the chicken cross the Appian Way? Because you didn't for... in cook it. Tune in to Hades' Kitchen, where dreams are forged in flames, and the taste of victory is truly divine. Previously on Hades' Kitchen, our aspiring chefs battled it out in a grueling mystery box challenge. Now, the competition heats up as they face their most challenging trial yet. Welcome, you pathetic losers, 
to the next round of Hades Kitchen. Today, you shall face the wrath of the Fire and Ice Challenge. Your task is to create a dish that showcases both fire and ice. The main ingredient in today's challenge will be lion meat. It's up to you to create a harmonious balance of contrasting flavours and temperatures. The contestants rush to the pantry, gathering ingredients and brainstorming ideas for their dishes. The clock is ticking, and they know they must impress not only Gordonius, but also the fiery spirits of the underworld. I've got a plan to sear the lion meat to perfection and serve it with a refreshing cucumber and mint sorbet. That'll show them fire and ice. I'm thinking of grilling the lion and pairing it with a sweet wine ice cream. It's risky, but if I nail the flavours, it'll be a knockout. And they're off. They have just a few minutes to create dishes that would make the gods envious. Let's have a look at their technique. Time is up. Knives down. Stop cooking. It's time for Gordonius to taste your dishes. Let's see if any of you imbeciles manage to create a dish worthy of my restaurant. What in the name of all things culinary is this abomination? It looks like chicken shit. Did you actually intend to serve this to human beings? Next. Well, at least the flavours are consistent. Consistently awful. Did you taste this before you served it? I wouldn't feed this to my worst enemy. This bread is so stale, you could wear it as a hat. Oh, look. An idiot sandwich. Who will Gordonius choose as the winner of Hades' kitchen? None of you have shown potential. You are nothing more than pathetic amateurs who couldn't handle the heat. I don't even know where to begin with this sorry excuse for a cooking competition. Every single one of you has managed to disappoint me beyond belief. Congratulations, you've all achieved the impossible. You've taken something that was already terrible and made it even worse. I hope none of you were planning on pursuing a career in the culinary world because there is no winner this week. Go home. The contestants exchange glances, their spirits crushed by Gordonius's relentless insults. They had hoped to prove themselves in this competition, but instead, they have all fallen short. As the curtain falls on this calamitous cooking competition, it's clear that there are no winners here. The kitchen gods have cursed these chefs with a lack of culinary talent that even Gordonius couldn't salvage. Until next time, this is Hades Kitchen. Hi, I'm Julian. I used to wake up and think about doing it. I used to go straight to the fridge looking for that cool supple feeling of cheese and red peppers on my chin. Smearing my pores with sour cream. Hamburgers on my head. You understand. You get it. I used to have a problem with putting food on my face, but then I found food face no more dot xyz. It's AI web 3 full stack controlled investor heavy silicon valley baked in mini app GPU processor that prevents me from putting food on my face. It works. Foodface or .xyze. And now for something else.
Girls, I have something juicy to share with you. Remember that night with Julius Caesar? Oh, please, Kim. Don't tell me you've done something scandalous again. You won't believe it. We made a little tape together. A tape? What kind of tape are we talking about here? A sex tape, my dear sisters. It's going to make us famous. Have a look. Kim, are you out of your mind? This is going to ruin our reputation. Exactly, it's going to make us the talk of the town. And let's face it, we love the attention. Kim, sometimes I wonder if you have any sense of responsibility. What about the consequences? This could destroy our family. Oh, please, we'll spin it in our favor. People love a good scandal. And with our charm and wit, we can turn this into a golden opportunity. We'll be more famous than Cleopatra. I can't believe I'm saying this, but maybe she's right. We've always been known for our drama, and this could be our chance to show the world who we really are. Fine. But let's be careful. We need to plan our next moves strategically. We need a statement. Something that shows we're unapologetic, but also in control of the narrative and we should leak some behind-the-scenes footage to build anticipation. Make it seem like we're in on the joke. Are we really going to profit from this scandal? Is that who we want to be? We're not just going to profit, Courtney. We're going to conquer the world. This tape will make us legends like Hannibal. The Carthaginian family finds themselves at the center of a media storm after a leaked sex tape with Julius Caesar has gone viral. While some condemn their actions, others are captivated by their audacity. <laughs> to the Carthaginians, we haven't been this popular since the Second Punic War. Love us or hate us, we're here to stay. Oh my god, there's even an accessory navicular. Step into the grandeur of the Roman Empire, where love, passion, and destiny intertwine. Join us as we follow the legendary Julius Caesar on his quest for true love. Welcome to The Bachelor BC. The most beautiful and captivating women from across the empire have gathered here, hoping to capture Caesar's heart. Each week, the tension rises as Julius must make difficult choices. Who will receive a rose and continue their journey? And who will be left behind? These roses symbolize a chance at love, a chance to explore the splendor of Rome together. Love will blossom against the backdrop of the Republic. Julius Caesar will go on intimate hometown dates, where he will meet the families of the final few contestants. Experience the romance as the Republic's future hangs in the balance. And then, 
the moment we've all been waiting for, the Fantasy Villas. Here, Julius Caesar will explore a much, much deeper connection with each woman, experiencing the passion and desire of a one-night stand. But in the end, only one woman will receive the final rose, becoming Caesar's bride and standing by his side as he shapes the destiny of Rome. I came. I saw. I fell in love. The Bachelor BC Welcome back to The Bachelor BC. Tonight, we are taking you to the Fantasy Villas, where Caesar's connections with the remaining contestants will be taken to new heights. These intimate dates will test the depth of their connections and bring them closer than ever before. Caesar, being here with you in this beautiful villa is a dream come true. I've felt a strong connection with you from the beginning. Lucia, your intellect and grace have captivated me. Tonight, I want to explore that connection further and see where it leads us. Caesar, this journey has been an incredible roller coaster of emotions. I've fallen deeply in love with you. Aurelia, your unwavering loyalty and passion have ignited a fire within me. Tonight, I want to explore that love further and see where it takes us. <laughs> Caesar's heart is torn between two remarkable women. The fantasy villas have brought them closer than ever before, but now he must make a decision that will shape the course of his love journey. Two remarkable women remain, Lucia and Aurelia, and Caesar must choose who will receive the final rose and become his wife. Lucia and Aurelia, each with their unique qualities, have fought for Caesar's affection from the very beginning. The tension is high as they enter the room, their hopes and dreams hanging in the balance. This is it. Tonight, I must make a choice that will shape not just my destiny, but the destiny of Rome. Caesar, a man of power and charisma, grapples with the weight of his decision. The women stand before him, their hearts pounding, waiting for their fate to be revealed. I've had the privilege of getting to know both of you on this incredible journey. Each of you possesses qualities that have captivated my heart. Lucia, you are an extraordinary woman. Will Lucia's intelligence and grace be enough to win Caesar's heart? Your intelligence and grace have enchanted me from the moment we met. I can envision a future by your side, leading Rome into a new era. Aurelia, you have a spirit that cannot be tamed. Will Aurelia's passion and unwavering loyalty be the key to capturing Caesar's heart? Your passion and unwavering loyalty have set my heart ablaze. With you, I see a love that burns brighter than any flame. But tonight, I must make a choice. The moment of truth has arrived. Who will Caesar choose? The woman who will receive this final rose and become my wife is... Aurelia. Aurelia has won Caesar's heart securing a love that will shape both their destinies. Lucia, a woman of grace and dignity, bows out gracefully, leaving behind the love she had hoped to find. I wish you both nothing but happiness. Join us next time on The Bachelor BC as we witness the next chapter of Caesar and Aurelia's love story and discover how their relationship will impact the fate of Rome. I came. I saw. I fell in love. This show was made possible in part by the following collectors. Nice Aunties, OK Nothing, Ed Brody, Alejandro Cartagena, Vicky Bardot, Alejandro Cartagena again, Flamingo Dow, Wap Shop Diamond, and viewers like you. Commercials provided by The Mike Elf, Historic Crypto, Lamoon, Ethereal Girl, Mind Wank, 
Nice Aunties, and Asa Grossa. Thank you for watching Reality BC and be sure to follow, like, and subscribe and enjoy one of these following episodes.